Jewel back again, and I thought today we would do another synastry video and concentrate on when one partner's moon is conjunct the other partner's Uranus, and what happens when we've got this going on in synastry. So synastry is chart comparison when we put two charts side by side or on top of each other. And we can see how their different planets and points connect, and it tells us how they feel about each other, how they get along. Um, a lot about what the relating is for and, you know, how it goes. So, the moon is that unconscious part of ourself, that part that is our habitual nature. Um, it's where we want to feel comforted. It, it represents the past, the mother, our security aspect of ourself, where we want to find security. Um, it is that gentle part of ourself that really represents the uh, unconscious feminine, as opposed to the sun, which is the conscious masculine. So, Uranus is that radical part of ourselves, that rebellious part of ourselves. That's part of ourselves that can see out of the space that we're currently in when it comes to our society or our time. It is the forward-thinking parts of ourselves, the, um, the very technical parts of ourselves, because this is that uh, original, you know, energy of the 11th house, which is our social systems, our um, hopes and our dreams and our wishes, um, our attitudes towards, you know, groups. So when these two come together in a conjunction, the moon person feels a great sympathy for the issues and the character of the Uranus in the other person. So they're very understanding of the quirks and little weirdnesses in somebody when they have this contact. The moon person actually appreciates those little weirdness, quirk things that go on with the Uranus person. So, um, the moon is very, you know, enlivened, excited by contact with the Uranus person, finds them to be very, um, you know, they make them feel alive. The moon really easily, too, spills their guts emotionally shares with the Uranus. I mean, really feels compelled to tell Uranus the own ra their own radical um, things that they've done, or, you know, their, their radical rebellious secrets, or, you know, their taboo secrets, things that they've done that go beyond the societal norm is really what um, the moon feels compelled to share. And in the Uranus person, they find somebody who can understand and accept those things about them. So, uh, the moon person really can't shock the Uranus person. So, it's one where the moon person actually feels very safe when it comes to sharing um, the parts of themselves that other people may find too bizarre. Because, you know, that the ruler of the 11th house is Aquarius. So you have to think about, you know, those Aquarian parts of ourselves, those Aquarian characteristics. The, that's really where we meet um, somebody else's emotions and habitual patterns and security needs in this particular conjunction. So the moon person does really not realize or understand that they are attracting the Uranus person, that they are inviting the Uranus person into making the first move or into making this become a relationship. Um, the Uranus person actually can be very reserved themselves about sharing with the moon person, about opening up to that to the moon person, because that, you know, Uranus, um, 11th house energy, Aquarian energy, is that really independent part of ourselves. That, that aloof part of ourselves that um, 
kind of resists personal attachment because it's about our groups and our societies. So the Uranus person, it can take a long time for them to build the trust and the emotional security that they need to share and open up with the moon person. So the moon person has to be really patient because where they, where their moon is, you know, where they want to attach is where the other person wants to be aloof, you know, where they meet here. So the moon person has to be very patient and has to be very understanding that this is going to take a while. And um, they can feel very rejected by the Uranus person or very left out by the Uranus person because their own, you know, it's, it's like you're, you're, you're hugging somebody that's all like this, right? And you're, you're trying to hug them and be all warm, but they're all, and it's just this kind of this awkward weird type of relating. So as the moon person continues to hug and embrace and understand and be there for the Uranus person, they will go from eh, to starting to loosen up and eventually they will eh, hug back. So this can be a very frustrating contact for the moon person even though they find you know, the Uranus person, this kind of radical, exciting influence in their life, they are meeting this person, you know, the Uranus person, in a place in their personality that is very different from the characteristics of the moon. So there's not going to be this reciprocal, warm, fuzzy action. Now, we can have other things in the chart going on that are warm fuzzies, where we could be getting that from other places. So this is not one that will keep a relationship from um, starting or continuing, but it is one where we can find um, a lot of frustration in that the moon person can often not understand why their warmth and their attachment is not being reciprocated and that can actually lead to a breakdown in a relationship because it's a misunderstanding or it is a um, inability to bring that part of the Uranus person in the immediacy to where the moon person wants to be. So, you know, if the moon person wants to be here in the relationship and they want to get there now, but, you know, the Uranus person, this can take time. You know, we can have some issues here. So we need to have a lot of understanding on both ends. And the um, most joyful and positive expression of this conjunction is that both people do have a great deal of understanding because Uranus is that open-minded, um, not really married to any one idea, um, atta attachment-free, kind of energy within us and the moon is that understanding, nurturing, um, feeling, um, supportive energy within us. So when those two um, aspects of people are meeting, you know, in a healthy understanding way, we can see this aspect actually work very well. So it, it, it and it can provide a safe place for the moon to feel like the, um, you know, kind of the untouchable parts of themselves emotionally, those can be expressed and to the Uranus person. The Uranus person can understand that for them. So this is one that actually works really well in platonic relationships, not plutonic, platonic, friendship relationships. This is one, because Uranus is that energy of our friends of the 11th house. This goes a long way, when it works well between two people, to providing um, some aspects between 
to people that in the hard times, this can see them through. Because this is one that solidifies two people at the friendship level. And that goes a lot farther than romantic love. Friendship is really immune to a lot of the problems and the risks that romantic love has. So when you have um, friendship aspects between you, such as this one, it can go a long way towards smoothing out or making up for other difficult aspects between you. Because you have that basis of friendship that is much more selfless, understanding, and does have the potential for unconditional love, where romantic love really doesn't. It is by nature conditional. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. I will be back really soon with more super cool videos. You can find me on the internet at truthinaspectastrology.com where I do do private consultation. Well, not there. Actually here in my office. But you can find me there to email me. Um, I do private consultation all the time. I'm, I'm mainly a um, relationship and intimacy astrologer, but I interpret all types of charts. And you can find me on Facebook, where you should be following me, because I do super cool writing over there and post on asteroids, because I also specialize in asteroids, and um, synastry stuff and birthday descriptions and the daily astro weather forecast. So find me over there, and I'll be back super soon with more super cool videos. Bye-bye.